A Russian occupier shot his commander in the Kursk region of the Russian Federation, partially occupied by the Ukrainian military. This was reported by the Telegram channel Spies Dossier. On October the 25th, 2024, in the area of the village of Kremyanoye, Kursk region, Captain Dmitry Borisovich Slepnev, Deputy Commander of the 2nd Motorized Rifle Battalion of the 810th Separate Marine, was killed. The Telegram channel reported, During a service meeting at an observation post, the captain got into a verbal conflict with Private Alexander Ryabov. The latter shot Slepnev with three shots to the head from an AK-74. The Telegram channel Spies Dossier writes that in the Zaporizhia region, a Russian occupier shot 10 sleeping fellow soldiers. His name is Maxim Fedorchenko. On the night of October the 26th, 2024, in the area of the settlement of Novopokrivka, Zaporizhia region, Fedorchenko shot 10 sleeping servicemen of his unit and escaped in the direction of the settlement of Polohi. The Telegram channel reported, the search for the fugitive soldier continues. Recall earlier Russian soldiers were tried for murder in Russian-occupied Ukraine, more than the total number of murders committed by veterans across all of Russia's regions combined. Other violent crimes that soldiers were charged with include manslaughter, violation of firearm handling rules, and assault. Manslaughter cases are often concealed by reducing the charges to violation of firearm handling rules, a lighter criminal offense. Especially veterans continue to commit acts of violence upon returning home and revealed that judges often commute their sentences and impose fines, while sending ordinary Russians to prison for similar offenses. Soldiers are hardly ever punished for drinking, unless they commit a serious crime like murder, as in civilian life. Killings on the battlefield often arise from personal conflicts and disputes. Court experts have identified some defendants as alcoholics, drug addicts, and people suffering from mental illnesses such as post-traumatic stress disorder. Personal conflicts don't always result in murder, of course. Soldiers often try to scare or teach their comrades a lesson by aiming at their arms and legs or stabbing them. Israel destroyed three remaining Russian S-300 air defense systems in Iran during airstrikes on military targets in Iran last Saturday, the Wall Street Journal reported, citing American and Israeli officials. The systems, a key component of Iran's air defense system, were able to intercept, according to the newspaper, at best a few of the hundreds of missiles fired at targets in Iran during the air attack, in which 100 Israeli warplanes took part. Three of the four systems supplied by Russia to Iran were destroyed during the attack. The fourth had been destroyed earlier. According to the U.S. Institute for the Study of War, one of the S-300 systems was located near the Tehran airport, while the other two were covering energy infrastructure facilities, an oil port, an oil refinery and a natural gas field. The S-300 air defense missile systems, which were in service with Iran, are a modernized version of this system, which entered service with the Soviet Army in the late 1970s, in the late 1990s. According to analysts, the loss of the S-300 systems leaves many of Iran's critical facilities defenseless against missile attacks. It has no opportunity to obtain more modern S-400 air defense systems from Russia, since it is using all of its available reserves to conduct combat operations in Ukraine. As the Wall Street Journal points out, this episode, coupled with the destruction of several Russian S-300 systems by the Ukrainian army during the fighting in Ukraine and successful Ukrainian strikes against more modern Russian S-400 air defense systems, is causing serious damage to the reputation of the Russian defense industry. It cites analysts who say that traditional clients of the Russian military-industrial complex will most likely start looking for alternative arms suppliers, which could benefit South Korean, Israeli, American and Chinese arms manufacturers.
Successive Israeli airstrikes have pummeled the southern port city of Tyre in Lebanon following an evacuation warning from the Israeli military for parts of the city, Lebanon's state-run national news agency reported. Associated press footage showed thick plumes of smoke rising against the Mediterranean skyline. Local media also showed images of fires and widespread destruction to residential buildings. No casualties have been reported immediately. Following an Israeli evacuation warning, Lebanese civil defense teams patrolled the city with loudspeakers, urging residents to leave the area immediately.